Welcome to Strength in Scripture. My name is Paul and today we'll be discussing about the foundation of prophecy. I want to talk about a single prophecy that was made several thousand years ago but is still being fulfilled today. It predicted the future of kingdoms and empires that would reign until the end of the world. Do you know what prophecy I'm talking about? It is a dream of King Nebuchadnezzar that he had about the statue. There's too much for me to cover about this subject at one time, so we will split it up into three presentations. One kingdom would come to power and it would last a few hundred years and then that kingdom would be overthrown and followed by another. Does the rise and fall of great world empires happen by chance? Or do they all form part of a great plan? If so, what will be the outcome? God answers all of these questions through His Word, the Bible. Nebuchadnezzar, the great and ambitious king of ancient Babylon, wanted to know what would happen in the future. One night, he had a dream. His mind was deeply impressed, but when he awoke, he could not remember the dream. No matter how much he tried, he could not remember it. His wise men were unable to help him either. The king was so upset that he ordered them to be executed. Among the wise men at Babylon, was a young man named Daniel. When he heard of the death decree and of the reason for it, Daniel begged for an extension of time so that he and his friends could pray to God to reveal to him the dream and its interpretation. This request was granted and the four young men, with strong faith in God's ability to answer them, prayed together. James 5.16 says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It is not surprising that the answer came immediately. Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar what he had dreamt. In Daniel 2.31-35 it says, Thou, O king, sawest, and behold a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron and his feet of part iron and part clay. Thou sawest till a stone was cut without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were made of iron and clay and break them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver and the gold broken to pieces together and become like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Daniel 2, 31 to 35. Please join us next time to see what these prophecies are referring to. Thank you and God bless.